do the countdown. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Solid 
So big guitar finish for me. You do big jump after three. Ready? One, two, three. Big jump. Oh, give yourselves a round of applause. And you can sit down. My name is Michael and welcome to the jungle. Oh yes, because we are on the hunt for the topsy-turvy kingdom. And boy, have we got a road ahead of us. We've got people to meet, we've got songs to sing, and we've socks to eat. Ugh, they're disgusting. We've got lots to discover about this mysterious kingdom. I wonder, can you help me? I said, can you help me? Yeah! Brilliant. Now, if only we had a map. That would be quite handy, wouldn't it? What is that sound? It, is that my tummy? No, I don't think so. Hang on a second, is that your tummy? No? Oh, but, it must be the super duper jungle transporter thingy. I wonder who's gonna come out. Should we find out? Let me go and have a look. Who is this in here? Oh, Ooh, now that is my tummy. going on here? Oh, oh dear, oh dear. Ah, no, oh dear, that's not mine. Ah, whoops, oh dear. Oh, Michael is not going to be happy about that. Yeah, oh well. Right, now then, where are we? Um, oh hello children, we must be in Honolulu. No? Wait a second, let me just have a look here. We must be in Hornsey. No, where are we? In, in Hull, of course. Well, hello, everybody. My, my name is Archibald. Theme music, please. My name is Archibald the Explorer, scaler of mountains, swimmer of seas, the bravest explorer there has ever been. Oh, so I was just wearing him out. What he is, indeed. Now then, did I hear something about Michael needing a map to the Topsy Turvy Kingdom? Yes. Well, do you know what? I have got the perfect thing. It's in my my picnic bark basket. You should always take a biscuit. B biscuit. Pic Picnic basket on an adventure. What and what have we got in here? There's got to be something. So oh, hello. <laughs> well, do find strange things in the jungle. What anyway? It's in here somewhere. It's, whoop, oh no. Ooh, yeah, me. They are thinking. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Uh, ooh, save that one for lunch. What? And, oh, here it is. Uh, oh, sorry. Did I did I throw them at you? Ah, sorry about that. Yes, okay, if you've got a sock, not the one that's on your foot, um, you can throw it back at me after three. One, two, three! I'm glad you're not very good shots. Anyway, good. Well, I found it. Here it is. It's called... Oh, hello again. It's called the Bible. Let me put that up there so you can remember. And really, it's the only map you'll ever actually need. Take it away, fellas. Here we go. Are you ready? Yes, I think. You must follow the map and to the destination. Ooh. Follow the map wherever it goes. Follow the map. It's a revelation. Listen to the maker. He's the one who knows. There are other maps you'll see, like this one, saying how life's meant to be. Ooh. But they'll lead you far astray. Follow the maker's way. Okay, here we go. Follow the map to the destination. Follow the map wherever it goes. Follow the map. It's a revelation. Listen to the maker. He's the one who knows. Lots of other people will say, You must follow your own way. Make the path you 
one to walk But that's such silly talk Can you join in now? Here we go Follow the map And to the destination Follow the map Wherever it goes Follow the map It's a revelation Listen to the maker He's the one who knows The Bible is God's map for us Always leading to the cross Jesus chose to walk this way And now he walks with us each day Come on everybody, here we go Follow the map and to the destination Follow the map wherever it goes Follow the map, it's a revelation Listen to the maker, he's the one who knows And listen to the maker, he has walked the road and listen to the maker, he will leave you hell. Hey, jolly good there. Yeah. Well, I'm going to leave this here for you, because that should help you with your, your adventure, what? And, yeah, just pop it there. And uh, I'm sure you can make do with those socks. But I must be take my flag. Always have a flag handy. Uh, don't know what you use them for, but anyway. Right, I will see you later. Enjoy your adventure in the Jungle Watson. Ooh, sounds like my ride. Toodle pip, everybody. Toodle pip. Bye. Yeah, jolly good show. What? I feel so odd. I don't think I'm going to go in that tent again, but. What on earth has happened out here? Oh, did, oh, they stinky as well. That is disgusting, but, oh, Archibald has left us the Bible because it's the map to the topsy-turvy kingdom. Oh, yes. What's that? Oh, there is a sign. Yes, well, we'll see if it helps. Oh, that's brilliant. Is that a no, I think it was the top the, the super duper jungle transporter thingy again. Yeah. No. Was that your tummy this time? No. <laughs> Do you know what? I think I know exactly who it is. Excuse me, everybody. What are you even doing in there? <clears throat> <laughs> Oh. Hello, Mr. Grumpy. Grumpy? Who are you calling Grumpy? I'm not Grumpy. You're Grumpy. And you? You are the grumpiest Grump I have ever met. In fact, it's true. In fact, if Grumpton were having presidential elections, you'd win. President Grump. Oh, yeah, very good. <clears throat> grumpy me, fake news, fake news. I know everything there is about being grumpy. Make Grumps and Grumpy again. Oh, that's very good. All right, make it stop now. <laughs> Chill. Donald Grump. Get it right. Anyway, what's going on here, Michael? Well, we are on the hunt for the Topsy Turvy Kingdom. Does happen every time you say it? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Right, well, um, how are you getting on? Well, we haven't found it yet. What, what do you mean? You, you are a useless explorer, you are. You get lost in the map department at Waterstones. Uh, yeah, but at least we've now got this map, the Bible. Uh, hang on. How is the Bible a map? Well, maps show you the way to places, don't they? They sure do. What, but what has that got to do with the Bible? Well, the Bible shows you the way to the topsy-turvy kingdom. No, you don't want that. You want grumpnav. Grumpnav. Yeah, it's like satnav, but grumpier. <sighs> Dare I ask? And it goes like this. <clears throat> Shh. Take the next left. No, the other left, you pillock. Oh, now you've gone the wrong way. Right, turn around and start again. <clears throat> you have reached your destination. But you got there quicker if you just follow my directions. Just like that, Michael. Oh. Do you know what? I think I'll stick to the Bible, thanks. Yeah, suit yourself. Right, what have you found out so far? Well, not a lot. Do you not even know who the king of the topsy-turvy kingdom is? 
Uh, no. Oh, oh! Is it Henry the King? Don't think so. Arthur the King? No. Bergen? What? Hang on. I was just about to do my punchline. <clears throat> Burger the King. You see, it was worth waiting for, wasn't it? I don't think it's any of those, Mr. Grumpy. Hold on. Do you know what we could do with? Is a sign telling us who the king is. Listen to the boy. It's behind you, you noodle bar. Oh, yes, of course. The king is... Drum roll, please. John 2031. I don't think I know a King John 2031. It's coordinates in your map, you noodle. Oh, yes, of course. All right, let me just find it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you want me to hold it up for you? Uh, yes, I do only have one hand. All right, hold on. I'm just going to hold up his Bible. I've been training. <laughs> Have you found it yet? No, not quite. <laughs> you have found it, you. <laughs> John 20, 31 says this. These signs are written that you may believe that Jesus is the King, of course. Do you know what? I can feel a song coming on, but for this, we need the help of Heavy Metal Mike. So you need to call him by doing this, ready? Heavy Metal Mike, 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 Heavy Metal Mike. You're going to need a solo face. All right? A solo face is like this. There. Can you do a solo face for me? There. Brilliant. This is from John 23. You can stand up on your feet. There's actions and all sorts of stuff. And it goes something like this. Can you get those guitars going? Here we go. All right? It goes, have you seen the sign? Have you seen the sign? Showing Jesus is the king. Have you seen the sign? A miracle that points to him. Have you seen the sign? That's it. Here we go. Jesus turned the water to wine. Oh, that boy. 
And you can sit down. Oh, wicked man. Right. I'll see you later. New York! What? See you later. Oh! Yeah! Wicked. Right. Well, oh, it looks like my rounds around here. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. Whoa. Sounds like you guys are having a rocking time out here. So Jesus is the king, is he? Do you know what? I, uh, for some reason, heavy metal Mike's hair is stuck in my hair. Very strange. You know, I read a story in the Bible. You can read it for yourselves in John chapter 1. All about some people who got to meet the king of the topsy-turvy kingdom for themselves. Now, as you listen to this next song, or maybe sing along, have a think. How would you feel if you got to meet the king of the topsy-turvy kingdom? You guys sitting comfortably? Then I'll begin. Oh, this guy here is Philip. He's on the way to meet his friend Nathaniel to tell him all about Jesus. Philip told Nathaniel, we have found the one. That all of the Old Testament points to you as God's son. Nathaniel was doubtful, sat under his tree. So Philip simply said to him, Come and see, he's the promised king. Come and see, life is found in him. Come and see, he has conquered death and sin. Set us free, Jesus the great I am. Now it wasn't only Philip and Nathaniel that Jesus met. He also met a lady. We don't know her name, but she was from Samaria. This is her story. Jesus told a woman, a life was found in him. She didn't need to look for hope in selfishness and sin. So she went home to gather. All her family, the woman simply said to them, Come and see, he's the promised king. Ready, come and see. Come and see, life is found in him. Come and see. Come and see, he has conquered death and sin. Set us free. To set us free, Jesus the great I am. The wonderful thing is, this isn't just something that happened 2,000 years ago. You can actually meet Jesus today Jesus in the Bible. The Jesus still is calling all to follow him. He died and rose up from the grave to save us from our sin. And we can share with others that Jesus sets us free. We simply need to say to say? them, come and see. He's the promised king. Come and see, life is found in him. Come and see, he has conquered death and sin. To set us free, Jesus the great I am. Really, let's do that game. Ready, Jesus? Jesus the great I am. One more time for me. The great I am. Isn't that a brilliant story? That is one of my favorite stories in the whole of the Bible. But I do have one question. How do you get to become part of this topsy-turvy kingdom? What is that? Oh, goodness gracious me. It's the super-duper jungle transporter thingy again. I'll just find out who's causing a racket now.
I am Russian, but I speak English for you today. Don't worry. Hey. Oh, come on. Come on. Don't be shy. Okay. Hello. What is your name, little man? Bobby. I say hello, Bobby. You say hello, Vladimir Dmitry Petrovich Mikhailovich. No, thank you. Everybody together. Hello, Vladimir Dmitry Petrovich Mikhailovich. Very good. I like you to meet Dog. Now, unfortunately, Dog not listen to me. I said, Dog, don't go in the river. It's Russia. You freeze. But you go in anyway. There's no point in arguing with him. He has a frosty personality. <laughs> hey, Dog, Dog, you ready? Show him what you can do. Fetch. It's okay. He's just chilling out. Anyway, you want to know how to become part of God's wonderful topsy-turvy kingdom? Well, it's actually all there in your map, the Bible, in Matthew chapter 5, verse 3. It's as simple as, Adin, dva, three. Or should I say, one, two, three. Are you ready to sing a little song with me? Song. This is the chorus, okay? So you can join in with that. Bit. But first you swing your arms, like so. Then a problem inside each one of us The stars us being what we should be Try your best, it won't make a difference What you need most is heart surgery Are you ready, everybody? Put your hands like so and then say one One, you have to be more given Two, you can't change on your own Three, it's Jesus who must change Four, you lead things people oh, Very good, okay Now swing your arms again like so It makes no odds which country you're looking at You'll find that we're all just the same The problem is no matter how far you get The problem is we want our own way It's very true Okay, put your hands together like so. And what? You have to be forgiven. Two. You can't change on your own. Three. It's Jesus who must change you. Four. He leads his people. Oh, now get the hang of it. Okay, here we go. From Rome to Babel, from London to Washington, we need a change that's from on high. The answer is the Lord Jesus rescues us. The answer is he transforms our life. Okay, it's going to get faster now. Are you ready? <clears throat> Here we go. One, you have to be forgiven. Two, you can't change on your own. Three, it's Jesus who must change you. Four, he leads his people home. One, you have to be forgiven. Can't change on your own. Three, it's Jesus who must change you. Four, he leads his people. Here we go. One, you have to be forgiven. Two, you can't change on your own. Three, it's Jesus who must change you. Four, he leads his people. Oh, one, you have to be forgiven. Two, you can't change on your own. Three, it's Jesus who must change you. Four, he leads his people. Oh, oh, oh that is too fast. Oh. Oh. Well, I hope that helps you all, and uh, I will see you again soon. Dosvidaniya! Dosvidaniya! Come on, little man. Come on, you come through here. You'll be okay. Oh, you make a little puddle. is going on here. Hmm. One thing that would make us much better is if there's some music. Ah! Hello, everybody! It is your favorite doctor, Dr. Von Pumpernickel! Anyway, I was reading in your map, the Bible, about how we should love each other. But I have a question. What does that mean? What does it mean to love each other? I, I, I don't know. Maybe you can help. Yeah? I seem to have a problem. I don't know where to go. 
You see, I have this question I really want to know I've asked about the stars An astronomer, he told me so I've asked about my legs One day physio helped me go Nobody, no But none of them could tell me And help me keep this longing The question we all ask What is really loving? I don't know This is how we Action. Jesus died upon the cross. Oh, of course! Of course, I must find out more about this! But, uh, oh, so Jesus, he came and he died for people so they could be his friends. And that's love! Love in action, of course! I've been such a dumb cop! Oh, I think I have it now. Are you ready? I think I understand. Love is what you do. And God showed his love by dying for me and you. But I think it does not end there. Just look at Jesus Christ. We must give our lives for each other and be a sacrifice. Yeah, that is what it says. We do that when we see someone else in need. We must give and help that person. That is what this verse means. Yeah, that is Oh, can you help me with the chorus? Okay, this is how we know what love is. Okay? Love, you see? Okay. Here we go, already. This is how we know what love is. Jesus gave his life for us. And this is love. Love in action. Jesus died upon the cross. Stand again. This is how we know what love is. Thank you so much for helping me, and uh, I will see you later. Auf Wiedersehen, everybody. Auf Wiedersehen. Right. Where do I go? Oh, do I just stand in here, and then what happens? Oh, well, that feels funny. Very funny indeed. tape on this. This isn't part of the show. Where's it gone? Do you ever find that thing where you just can't find the end of the tape? It's got to be there somewhere. Oh yes, victory isn't mine. Ah, we'll get this eventually. I'm going to need some helpers for this next song. There's got to be an end to this somewhere. Um, I, who's going to help me? Nobody's going to help me. Oh, shame. But, oh. You do want to help me. Okay, would you like to come and help me? Would you like to come and help me? There we are. Sorted that out. Pop that on there. Oh, there's so many of you. Uh, would you like to come and help me? Would you like to come and help me? Uh, yeah, yeah, come on, come on, come on. Come stand there. And goodness gracious, would you like to come and help me? Would you like to come and help me? Yeah, come on then. Okay, that's... Oh, it always happens. They multiply on their way up. Right. There we go. Hello. Greetings. Um... Good. Who's first in line? Come and line up. Come and line up. So, so, so line up facing everybody else. Hello. Um, yeah, almost. In the line, in the line. Come this way. Oh, hello. Right. I'm going to give you the helmet. And you need to be able to say, hoo, ha. Can you do that? Even louder. Hoo, ha. Brilliant. I need you to go, ka-ching, ka-ching. Brilliant, ka-ching, ka-ching. Oh, you don't need one. You just have to go, boo-hoo. No, 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 that's laughing. That's the opposite. <laughs> well, okay, hysterical crying. I, I, can, I can deal with that. Um, and who else have we got here? Um, then I need somebody who can... Oh, where's my la-la-la? Uh, looks like your colour. Oh, uh, you got to go, la-la-la. Perfect. Okay, then I need you to, with the comb, to go, look at me. <laughs> Can you do that? Can you say, look at me? You can't say, look at me. Would you like somebody else to do it? I've got a tree on me. Would you like somebody else to help you? 
Who else would like to come and help? Could you want to pick somebody to help you? Who do you know? Oh, hello. Sorry? Yeah, yeah, whoever. Yes, come on up. Come on up. Would you like a sock? There we go. Good. I'll keep you entertained. Right, the two of you come here, and you have to say, look at me. Okay? Um, and then, and then I need, uh, who else have we got? I need you to say, amen. Can you do that? Perfect, okay. And then you, sir, do you want the baby or the sunglasses? The baby. So you have to say, aren't they lovely? Oh, brilliant. And are you going to help me? Would you like some sunglasses? No, who's going to help me? I need one more. Oh, so many. Connie, you look like you're going to burst out your skin. So come on up here. Right, if you stand there, and then you come in here. Oh, can you, are you all right with those over your glasses? Then you have to say... Uh, look, oh no, what have we had? Look at me. You have to say, aren't I amazing? Aren't I amazing? Perfect. Right. Are we ready? Do you guys want to stand back a little bit? If you can stand back, then I can go in front of you and then I can help you out. And it goes something like this. There are many things that we think maybe could earn God's love. Like, uh, oh, if I work hard enough for God, then he'll love me. But no. Or maybe if I give enough money to the church, then God will love me. But no, there's only one reason that God loves you, and it's because he chooses to, and it's called grace. Okay? In a chorus, you have to be able to do this with me, all right? Because something like this. Are you ready to go hoo-ha in a second? Okay, so it goes like this. Your works won't do it. Hoo-ha! Your money won't do it. ka ka You cannot earn God's love. Ready, your tears? Your tears won't do it. Oh, there we go. Your singing won't do it. La, la, la. You cannot earn God's love. Okay, get your hands like, hello. Get your hands like this. Because it's all about grace. It's all about grace. Grace, grace. He freely gives to us. There's nothing we can do to earn God's love. And on the other side, it's all about grace, grace, grace. And then when we think he's done, there's loads more grace he gives to us through Jesus Christ, his son. What have we got next? Oh, maybe my beauty will do it. No, there's only one thing, it's grace. Are you ready? Your beauty won't do it. Look at me. Your prayers won't do it. Oh, brilliant. You cannot earn God's love. Okay, your fame, your fame won't do it. I'm so amazing. You are. Your family won't do it. Oh, they love me. You cannot earn God's love. Okay, get ready with your hands. Here we go. It's all about grace, grace, grace. He freely gives to us. There's nothing we can do to earn God's love. And on the other side, it's all about grace, grace, grace. And then when we think he's done, there's loads more grace he gives to us through Jesus Christ. I think we need a Southern Baptist key change. Are you ready, everybody? It's all about grace, grace, grace. Freely he gives to us. There's nothing we can Everybody together, it's all about grace. It's all about grace, grace, grace. And then when we think it's done, there's loads more grace he gives to us through Jesus Christ, his son. Round of applause, my little helpers. Thank you very much. You can go and sit down. Oh, whew, there we go. Okay. Oh, thank you for the sunglasses. Can I have the baby? Do you want to hold on to the baby for a minute? You can hold it now. Okay, go. There we go. Ah, oh, brilliant. Oh, goodness gracious me. What are you doing? Mr. Grumpy, what is the problem now? I came out to this jungle for a bit of peace and quiet. And instead, I've just been surrounded by a load of loonies. You know that Archibald the Explorer actually enjoys eating stinky socks? Mr. Grumpy, Mr. Grumpy, what is wrong? Do you not listen to what I just said? I said, I came out to this jungle for some peace. No, 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 no. 
I mean, what's really wrong? What's going on inside that makes you so grumpy? Oh, uh, I don't know. Well, do you know what? The Bible actually tells us. We get grumpy because we think that we're the boss. We want everything to go our own way, and when it doesn't, that's when we get grumpy. But I've got something that might help. Better not be a song. It's a song. Oh, no. Oh, Ma Michael. I hate, to, I hate to say this in front of all your friends and like your family. Look, your mum's over there. But, uh, your singing is terrible. No, 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 it's true. It's not, uh, hang on, hang on. Hang on. It's not just, no, 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 no. It, it, no, listen, listen. I think I'm gonna get, I'm gonna start a riot. They really like you here, Michael, don't they? All right, just let, let, let me explain, let me explain. You see, it's not just me who thinks so. I sent a tape of your singing off to that Simon Trowell of X Factor. Do you mean Simon Cow? That's what I said. No, you said Simon Trowell. No, I didn't. You did. You said Simon Trowell. Forget it. Do you know what he said? He said, I'm sorry, Mr. Grumpy, but I have heard better singing out of an elephant with a snotty nose. <laughs> well, do you know what, Mr. Grumpy? I'm going to sing anyway, and I think you should listen to this song. It goes something like this. Mr. Grumpy is so grumpy cause he thinks he's the boss I am Thinks that he is number one That's me, oh shush Mr. Grumpy is so grumpy cause he thinks he's the boss He thinks that this world's his own Well it is, no it's not And if someone should get in the way They know that they will pay the price Dead right Mr. Grumpy is so grumpy he needs Jesus Christ to see that Jesus is the king. No, I, 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 think I, I think I get it. So I'm grumpy because I think I'm the boss. Well, yes. exactly. But we've been learning that Jesus is the king. He's the boss. And the wonderful thing is that when we become part of his topsy-turvy kingdom, he not only forgives us for being grumpy, but he helps us to become more like him, loving and serving others. Well, that's great, Michael. Wait, oh, can I sing the song? They don't want to hear you sing the song. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. See? <sighs> all right, all right. Okay. Oh, no, no, I've got to do my introduction. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, worms and slugs, I, Mr. Grumpy, am about to sing a song the likes of which you have never heard before, apart from when Michael just sang it. This is the Mr. Grumpy song. Take it away. Mr. Grumpy, is your... Hang on, that's too high. Stop it, stop it. What do I look like, a choir boy or something? I can't sing up there, Mr. Grumpy. Well, remember, don't be so grumpy, you're not the boss. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, Michael? Yes? Could you possibly make that a lower pitch for me? Please. Pretty please. With a cherry on top. Oh, right, OK. Here we go. Mr. Grumpy is so grumpy cause he thinks he's the boss. He thinks that he is number one. Mr. Grumpy is so grumpy cause he thinks he's the boss. He thinks that this world is so oh, it's not, is it? No, it's not. And if someone should get in your way, they know that they will pay the price. Mr. Grumpy is so grumpy, he needs Jesus Christ. To see that Jesus is the king. Where's my round of applause? Oh, God. Don't encourage him. That, that's great, Michael. But, um, but I'm, I've got a question. Not everybody believes that Jesus is the king. Is he really? That's a great question. Guys, listen. Hold on a second. I can't do your shoe. Maybe somebody else can do your shoe. Is that right? I can do your... No, my arms don't work. Can't do your shoe. I can floss. Ready? <laughs> anyway, what are you going to I think you were going to make a serious point, Michael. Do you want to do it again? So I was asking, is Jesus really the king? And I was going to say, sometimes when we look around at the world, with all the fighting and the wars, it doesn't look much like Jesus is the king, does it? But the Bible promises that one day God will get rid of all of that hurt and pain. One day, everyone will see that Jesus is the king. Because one day, 
everyone will see that Jesus wins. Now, I'm going to need some help, not with this flag. I'm going to need some help with this song. I'm going back in the bag. You go back in the bag. I'm going to need some help. So who would like, oh, goodness, too many. Come on, then. You can, you can come up. Uh, would you like to come up? Who's not come up before? Yeah, I think you came up already. Would you like to come up? Oh, okay, great. You guys come up. Come on, Chewbacca. Uh, yeah, come on then. Come on then. Have you come up yet? That you've come up already. Haven't you? Come on then. Uh, yes, come on, whole city. Uh, would you like to come up? Okay. Yeah, come on. Come on up, Spider-Man. Right. Now this song, you can all join in. The chorus goes like this: Jesus wins. He's the King. He's the Lord of everything. Soon everyone will see Jesus wins. All right? There's some actions for the verses so you can show them what to do. It goes like this. Oh, hello. Yeah, you can join in. Why not? The more the merrier. Careful at the front. No mosh pit. We see in the world around us so much hurt and tears and pain. Mr. Grumpy, Mr. Grumpy, come, come out. Come out. Where is it? Where is it? Wait, don't be grumpy. Oh, yeah, sorry. Wait, wait, what's going on? Well, we've come to our, the end of our adventure looking for, ready together, the Topsy Turvy Kingdom. Yeah, but hang on, hang on, where is it? Where is it? I can't see it. Well, there is a sign, but let me tell you, you can't see it because actually, the Topsy-Turvy Kingdom isn't an island you can sail to or a village in the jungle that you can walk to. The Bible says that the Topsy-Turvy Kingdom is wherever Jesus is king. And if you trust him, you're actually part of it. And one day, you'll get to meet the king face to face in his brand new heaven on his brand new earth, home at last. That's brilliant. Oh, and I've got time, I think, 
for one more song about the topsy-turvy kingdom. Now, I'm going back in the back, all right. Now, this is a bit of a Bruce Springsteen song, all right? And you have to do a Bruce Springsteen count, which means you count to three without anybody understanding what you're saying, all right? Like this. Ha, ha, hey! Do you get proud to start ready? Ha, ha, hey! Perfect. Oh, and if you're really good at the end, I might bring out my giant party popper. Who knows? So, everybody up on your feet, grab your air guitars, and it goes something like this. Oh. Can you get those guitars going? This is all from Matthew chapter 5. Okay, are you ready? The blessed are the poor in spirit, who know they need the Lord. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven, a kingdom that can't be born. Blessed are the ones who know, see the depths of sin. They will find comfort in Jesus, a comfort that makes them sin. All right, get ready with your crowns. Here we go. God's kingdom is here. It's with the king who's right. God's kingdom is here, it's with the king who's alive. He welcomes us in, calls us to live the way of the kingdom of Christ, the king. Okay, grab those air guitars, gang. A blessed are the hungry ones who thirst for what is good. They will be filled up in Jesus, who live the life we never could. Blessed are the merciful, who know what Christ has done. God will show them his mercy, his mercy forgives all their wrong. Get rid of the crowns. God's kingdom is here, it's with the king who's right. God's kingdom is here, it's with the king who's alive. He welcomes us in, calls us to live the way of the kingdom of Christ, the King. Brilliant. Slow down those guitars. But blessed are the pure in heart who live through love and grace. They will know Jesus forever. They will see him face to face. But blessed are the peacemakers who act just like their King. They are the children of heaven. Together they all will sing. Here we go! Let's go! Ready? God's kingdom is here. It's with the king who's right. God's kingdom is here. It's with the king who's alive. You got it! He welcomes us in. Calls us to live the way of the kingdom of Christ, the King. Take it to the bridge. And blessed are you when people insult, persecute you and lie. Because you are a follower of the only Jesus Christ. Rejoice and sing because you know that it has happened before. I know because of Jesus Christ, you have a great reward. Wahoo! He God's kingdom is here. It's with the King who's right. God's kingdom is here. It's with the King who's right. He welcomes us in, calls us to live the way of the kingdom of Christ. Okay, big guitar finish. Yeah. I made that beautiful. My partner, are you ready? Oh. I think we've got time for one more song. Ricky, go with those air guitars. We have the music up a little bit. Are you ready for doing some Jesus is the hero? Let's put this down. Here we go. Jesus is the hero. When you win a running race, nice. Jesus is the hero when you want to hide your face. 
Jesus is the hero when you come top of your class. That's it. Jesus is the hero when you're always coming last. Can you remember why? Because he's the king of every story. Because he's the king of every story. He's the biggest and the best. He's the king of every story. In him you'll find your rest. Ready after three. One, two, three. Picked up. And I'll see you later.